Hey guys and welcome to Tech Fortitude and today in this video we are going to see how to install Kali Net Hunter without rooting your device in Android using Termex. So Termex is, a, is like a terminal emulator for your Android device which you can easily get from Play Store but I actually recommend you to get Termex from F-Droid because they provide you with the latest repositories with the latest updates. So without any further ado let's get started i think you all know how to install termex so i'm not going to uh, go through that so you can install termex and for those who don't know what is termex i can show you through uh, google play so this is termex so you need to install this on your device and i've already installed it and I have already uh, installed some packages in this device so we are, we are not going to go through that from uh, from scratch so please install this on your uh, mobile phone and we can proceed with the installation so here I'm inside my computer and I've uh, already uh, configured my termex and connected it through SSH you don't need to do this you can just proceed with the uh, uh, by, by just using your uh, Android phone you can just do that but in my case I have uh, did this so that uh, it will be easy for me to record the video so now what we are going to do here is we need to go to the official Kali Linux downloads so let's go to Kali.org and from this we need to go to get Kali so from here you need to go all the way down to the mobile and this is the official operating system of Kali Linux so this does require to uh, root your device and install this custom operating system on your device and we are not going to do that Kali Linux ok so yeah, so I'll give this link in the description box. This is not available in the uh, official Kali Linux page. So I'll just give this link so you can click that and proceed with the, uh, the documentation. So here this is our Termex installation and we have Kali Linux. So let's start with the installation. So now we can see that here uh, we have uh, the installation process which is given very briefly so we can do that so yeah so we can just go ahead with just executing all these commands so as you can see this is not this is not my computer this is my phone i just connected this through ssh so please make sure you do that and now we can just start so type termx setup storage so they have asked me to set up the storage for termx now the next thing we need to do here is we need to install a package called SWget. So we can type pkg install wget and hit enter to install it. So we have installed that. The next thing we need to do here is we need to get this uh, URL. You can just copy this or else you can just need to type this uh, manually. We have no other go. So let's open up our terminal and paste this link here. Hit enter. Okay. Yeah, so it is installed. Uh, I mean, the repository is uh, here in our device. The next thing is we need to change the permission to make it as an executable uh, file. So we have made that. The next thing is we need to uh, run this. Uh, executable file so paste and hit enter and there we go guys so we have Kali here so now what we need to do here is we need to uh, go ahead and uh, see what we have so we have our net hunter full installation we have a minimal installation and a nano installation I would like to install the full installation because uh, I don't uh, I don't want to install the packages manually when I start working with the system so I'm going to install it entirely so hit one hit enter so now it will take some time to install all the necessary packages and uh, we will see 
once it gets completed and as you can see it is installing so yeah so i'll meet you guys once the installation completes so now it is asking me to whether delete the download root fs files so i will just uh, hit y and enter and so now we can see that this is uh, our kali linux and it is installed so if you see here um, <coughs> we have uh, several commands so Kali Linux for Termix is installed successfully and to run Kali Linux I just need to type nethunter or I can just type nh to run it and to run it as root you need to type nethunter dash r so to run this you need to root your device and uh, I already have my device rooted so I will uh, uh, I can run this so to run this you need to make sure that your device is rooted and nethunter kicks is what is called as nethunter GUI so once you have a, a, a VNC connector or a VNC viewer installed on your device you can easily start this nethunter kicks and you can connect it and use Kali Linux full-fledged on your device through graphical user interface so yeah we are more than we we have completed so now let's just try to start Kali Linux from this. So type net hunter and hit enter. And there we go, guys. We have Kali net hunter installed. So we can type sudo apt get update. And there you see we have uh, the, uh, you know, we have uh, Kali Linux installed on our Android device. And there is no need to install. Uh, the what is that? What the f is that? The device, and as you can see, we have uh, some package error. Okay, so this is uh, this is normal. Uh, it will just uh, it will resolve once you reboot your device once. Sudo apt get update. Okay, sudo apt get so now we can just check out uh, whether our, our packages are installed so let's type metasploit or msf console to run metasploit yeah so we can see that metasploit framework is working so we can see that we have msf console which is metasploit framework and uh, we can generate payloads and stuff let me show you in termx from uh, my uh, you know from my mobile so i'm here in my device and i can simply just uh, go to termx and let me just here or exit this session and let me open termx once again and there we go guys so now we can type nh for net hunter and we are inside uh, we're just inside the net hunter so now we can type msf console here we just uh, oh okay there we go so it's loading there we go guys so we have metasploit loaded and uh, we can start uh, working with Metasploit. So let me check whether another uh, popular tool is installed, uh, which is uh oh shit. <laughs> so the keyboard is so small. So let me just type uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. So okay, sudo Wi-Fi password for Kali is the default Kali password is Kali okay so it is because uh, Ar Armon ng does not find uh, sorry did not find any wireless interfaces so this is because uh, you need an additional Wi-Fi adapter a wireless adapter you can get that from the link in description box down below so you need to plug that to your device for uh, for Wi-Fi to work so yeah so everything is installed on this and uh, 
we have Kali Red Hunter installed on this device and now without any further ado we can simply just uh, close the video so if I hope you enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give a like share and subscribe this video and I would uh, like to uh, to tell you that our new channel has gained some um, some audience some live audience so it will be uh, it, it's it's a it's a huge success uh, of cyber cypher and i would like to uh, I, I would like to have the same success rate uh, for this new channel also so yeah and um, we'll see you guys in a new video until then